Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine, a tech help show. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Facebook page. Now, there may be a large number of reasons you want to do this. It could be for a personal hobby. It could be for a company. It could be just to dedicate it to another person's website. Uh, as you can see in a little bit, or as you will see in a little bit, there's a couple different options they give you when you're doing it. And Facebook's actually done a good job of making this process a lot easier than it used to be. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and log into your Facebook, and on the left-hand side, uh, and remember, Facebook's changing constantly, so hopefully this video is up to date as you're watching it. Uh, on the left-hand side here, there's a section called Pages. You want to select the Pages button, the link at the top here, and it'll show all of the pages that are currently displayed. Now, if Pages don't show up here, you might have to select More down here and Find Pages down here. Uh, but either way, once you've selected pages, it'll show your pages screen. At that point, you want to select create a page. And at this point, you can actually select what type of page you're going to create. Now, it's at this point where you can kind of uh, get a pre-established template of those particular uh, options you might have. So if you're dedicated to an artist or your own band um, or a public figure, maybe you are famous, I don't know. Uh, your local business, uh, company or organization, so a larger business, a band or product, entertainment or cause or community. So you can kind of create a little, you know, donation or join the cause type situation there. Uh, for the test one, I'm just going to select local business. And uh, for the category, you want to select, this is very important, make sure you choose the right category. Uh, this is how people will actually locate you. Uh, on their searches. So if people are looking for groups of interest or uh, pages of interest, uh, this is going to be a pretty important factor. So you want to make sure you take the time to read through these and find whichever one best fits you. I'm just going to select a random one. I've already got my own page. so. Okay, at this point there's the setup test. So this is, uh, or set up your test. No, that's the name of my company. This is where you're actually setting up your page. Uh, you're going to set your profile picture. Always have a profile picture. I recommend don't don't leave it blank, man. If you want people to actually like your page or follow your page, pick a solid profile picture that actually pops. Try to get something that pops that people will draw their attention to. Um, and then you want to upload from computer or insert from a website. It's either way, however you want to do it. Most people will download it to their computer and then upload it from their computer. I'm going to skip this step for now. Uh, Please provide some basic info about test. Yeah, uh, make sure you do this too. A lot of times you can just go to like the summary of whatever page you're setting up this page for. So if you have your personal website, you kind of have a mission statement already. Uh, if it's about yourself, just tell about yourself. If it's about your band, tell about your band. And uh, what you want to do after that point is make sure you add every single website that connect that people can connect to you with. Your Twitter account, your Facebook account, your YouTube account. Any website you might have, make sure you add as many sites to this section as you can because this is where people are going to connect to you through your Facebook page. Very important. Okay, at that point, I'm going to skip this. And, of course, this, remember, once you have chosen this, this is a problem I have, you cannot go back. So make sure whatever your URL you choose for your Facebook page, make sure it's the one you want, man, because once you've done it, you can't go back. And, unfortunately, that's the case on my Facebook page and I have to live with an old one that I picked. But in either case, choose a URL. Uh, I recommend it something that people can recognize, uh, not necessarily know exactly what it means, but it, it rolls off the tongue easier so you can tell people where it's at. Facebook.com slash Craig, or you know what I mean. Uh, don't use something crazy weird like PC Michiana like I did. Ugh. Uh, because that's like PC Bahamaha. And so you get all kinds of weird issues with that. And so I'm going to skip again, and then it's going to walk you through a overview of your page. And this is kind of a nice feature of it. Um, the like test, it tells you to like your page just to get started. So you like your own page. Apparently I was already connected. Invite your friends. You can invite all your friends that are on your profile. Uh, email contacts, if you have a separate email client or a list of emails so you want to send it out to to let them know you have a new page. Uh, share something lets you obviously start writing on your wall. I'm going to skip that. And that pretty much gets us off started. Uh, this is how you create your own basic page. Now, if you ever need to change any of the details, uh, this is very important. Go up to the top here, and there's a Manage button. It's a drop-down. And you want to click Edit Page. And uh, on the left-hand side, you can start changing the actual customizations of your page 
uh, like your your permissions, so who can post where and when and how. Uh, you can block certain people if they're annoying you. Uh, basic information, this is all the information you entered and you can change this at any time. Profile picture, featured resources, uh, and that pretty much goes on and on. Manage admins, that lets you add more people so that, that can manage your site. Insights is kind of nice, it actually lets you monitor and track uh, the status of your site. So you can actually keep track of how your site's doing. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you create your own custom Facebook page. It's very easy to do. And uh, after you've actually created it, it'll show up on the left-hand side under Pages. See, I have Test here. And uh, then you can manage it at any time. So thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And uh, swing by the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. As you can see, I've rebranded. Um, trying, trying to get a new little brand going. Uh, make it look a little better. And uh, also... Uh, feel free to swing by the forum if you have any questions. Thanks again.